Welcome back to Critics News on another edition. And I don't already know how we think they do. As we take see the matter so now, so we take the talk. Um, in continuation with our update on waiting to happen. Hmm. They said that the unknown government has clashed with the Nigerian army, and um, they have been hmm, they have been heavy uh, clash since the early morning of Sunday. And um, we done a demo. Have been another group of people now use um, what would I call it? And then use trailer to block the road now, so no movement between Imo State and Anambra State. Uh, we, we are still uh, trying to get the full story and what is uh, actually happening in that uh, particular area, but we have not gotten the whole story. Breaking on non government has blocked commuters and passerby from gaining entry through Anambra State to Imo State. Uh, this thing has been happening since morning. Now, the reason, I don't know, I don't know what is uh, behind this, but uh, it seems that there is a large cache of uh, the Nigerian military that has been drafted into these two, sta these two states, these two states, which is a uh, Imo state and Anambra, <laughs> you know, when S fool something, they go, bless you, they had these two states, okay, yeah, TT and SS, okay. So they have been clashing and they have been serious shooting uh, starting from morning. Conrich now, this is a, one of the um, people who were traveling and they were trapped um, along the road because the Nigerian army came in. Uh, I don't know whether to invade Imo State or which area. I don't know which area they want to go and invade now. Uh, but uh, according to the information that we have on our table, they say that they were blocked or by the unknown government, and they have been uh, firefighting seriously uh, since morning, since the early hours of uh, Sunday, and um, this same Sunday, today being the 8th of May, 2021. I beg all these governors, hmm, will not do something, you know, because what the military is coming to do is to, you know, even their own presence is another problem. It's bringing another tension in the land. So this thing needs to be addressed as soon as possible, ASAP, so that people will know how to. Because um, if you leave people now, any youth they see, they abduct. So maybe that's the reason why they use the, um, a, a trailer to block the road. But where are they going to see a trailer now? He can not go on Ha! There is serious problem, oh, there is serious problems. The whole place has been uh, um, bogged with checkpoints, checkpoint, checkpoint. In the whole of Biafra land, everywhere is checkpoint, checkpoint. I don't know what you people are checking, to be honest with you. I've not been able to ascertain what the Nigeria military is checking. But for the north, where these bandits are ruling, Unano did there. So the Nigeria government started all these problems that we are facing today. They started it. And for them to de-escalate by removing all these illegal extortion, kidnapping, checkpoint, is a problem now. Remove them so that peace can return to Igbo land. I think that's what the Southeast leaders are supposed to be talking about. Remove this checkpoint because they are the reason why these unknown government are also parading. They are. You can imagine driving from one traffic light to another. You are seeing checkpoint, and now so they go wage people, delay them in the name of extortion. I brought a message the other day that they left their checkpoint to go and pray. These are Muslims. You went, you want to pray, and you lock the road. In what? In which country does that? Which country does? Which country police or army or even Mopo does that? You want to go and pray. All of you went to pray. And you use this your stick to block the road, and people were there in the southeast. Can you do that in the north? Can you? This is the reason. You people, the elders, the leaders, this is no longer who oh, want to talk to unknown government. Are you talking to people you know? There is a problem that brought about the unknown government. They were not there before. Remove all the illegal checkpoints. Let peace return to the southeast. As soon as possible, let us have a peace of mind. The number of military men I saw in today in um, is in most state is overwhelming. What are they doing there? Is there war in the southeast? But this is what Buhari has planned for the southeasterners.
and we have to resist this uh, occupation of our land. Fulani his men now killing and raping, pillaging the land has been, you know, driven away by Eastern Security Network, uh, except uh, some of them that are still uh, doing tumbom tumbom from one place to another, hiding, uh, although they are still trying to fish them out. So now the Nigerian army has come out because they have recruited those terrorists into the Nigerian army and they have now come back on uniform to do as if they are doing a civil service which is uh, illegal remove checkpoint leave checkpoint alone so that peace and tranquility can at least return to uh, a certain level in the southeast in biafra land when i say no when i must occupy that place hey god no allow them uh -huh. so and i'm going to show you a video that cost it now look at this one look at the country nigerian airlines insist on flight shutdown from monday <laughs> you don't read who this country eh? <laughs> hey when i never see suffering this country you go later do sorty you will not go see flight they the wrong come out one you not go see any flight they the wrong come out now they see them so let's let me play you this video so you hear from the horse's mouth what he said and i'm going to show you a cache of the nigerian military the implant you know be small one when i watch this and see all right you you have heard from him you say army and unknown government exchanging um firepower that they have blocked the route so that people will not get into crossfire you know um, this is it is terrible and it's getting out of hand. But our leaders are not speaking up. Those who claim to be Ohanes and Dibu, Southeast governors, senators, House of Rep, uh, Reps members, when they talk so that this thing can stop, when they talk, pull for matters arising. Hey. Hmm. The earlier, the better for every one of us. But no, be me and you go solve the problem now because we don't have the power. It is those people in government that have the power to speak up. Now look at another video, then you will see how many military men are marching into this zone, how the Nigerian army are marching, invading different places. What is going on here? Is there a war in this place? Now watch this video and see. You can see that these are the men of the Nigerian army. You can see them. I have to zoom so you guys can see. You see? So who is this one wearing white? Is that one too army? You see? Ah, the Nigerian military are ah, move this is a this is a, 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 a village, this is a community. You see? You see? Is there a war going on in this place? This is not not east. Oh. This is not uh, the northern part of the country where you might say, Oh, they want to go and fight Boko Haram. These are places. Because maybe they must have had uh, uh, clashes with unknown government. They will now go to villages and invade them. You see how deserted it is. Mm -hmm. Just imagine. You see? You see? See the invasion and uh, the occupation of our land. You see? That's a gun truck there in Imo State. In Imo stroke Anambra, you see, what are you? Is there a war there? You can see no car, no motor is passing. I don't know whether this one is a reinforcement of the other ones. 
but this is what is going on here this is what is going on how how they they are you know what they are doing now going to different places you can see you can see i think it's done so this is what is happening this is the invasion of biafra land how the nigerian military is going everywhere trying to um take over or you know even pursue people the owners of the land update um anyways we got a new update now they say airline operators suspend withdrawal of service hours to deadline hmm. the airline operators of nigeria aon has suspended its decision to withdraw its service across all airports in the country barely a day before the association planned to effect withdrawal it explained that it was suspending the decision in the interest of the national economy and security considerations aom president abdul munaf sarina announced the suspension on sunday in a statement jointly signed by six members of the association they include abdul munaf managing director and the um, Bobotibo, all of them, don't be this one, so it'll be the major issue. But the this is a Nigeria for you. Airlines are um, threatening to shut down in a country. In a country. Nigeria does not have any airline. Kenya has, other people have. And uh, what we just answer, oh, Nigeria is a great country. Where, where is the greatness? Nigeria is a failed state. We are people without sense are ruining the lives of the people with sense. Igacha school, your certificate will become useless because you cannot use it to achieve anything. Yes, I'm not winning. Pega, don't tire. I'll see you guys on the next update. Let me know what you think about it. Thank you.